Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Challenges. It's time for round two of Colorless Caving. This is the latest in the Minecraft Challenges series and was created by Mr. Ed Case. Basically, we are going to do some old-fashioned ABBA caving with a twist that all the ores are hidden from view. All these shiny, shiny ores that you see before us will look like this when we play the challenge. So the real challenge is, can we even find the ores when all we can see is white and gray blocks? Let's find out. If you haven't had a chance to watch the first run, click on the link in the upper right hand corner of the screen and give it a watch. The detailed rules for this challenge are listed in the description below the video, but I'll be going over the basics as we go along. So far, we've created a new world, ran a locate mineshaft command, and are now digging our way down to that mineshaft. Ah, it looks like we've arrived, but, well, this area isn't quite safe enough to start, so let's see if we can find some place without any mobs ready to pounce on us. Oh well, this isn't good. Definitely no point in starting right next to a cave spider spawner, is there? Let's try and get a bit away from it, at least to start off. Ah, uh, this looks like a good spot. Let me just organize the items the way I want them, and we can get started. All we have to do now is go into survival mode, and reset the time of day to zero. Okay, let's light this place up and see if we can... Oh, coal! Always nice to find something on the first block. Colorless caving is a timed and scored challenge. When the clock on my harp bar runs out, the challenge is over and the scoreboard on the right will track my score as we go along. The points we receive for the ores we find are listed at the top of the screen. Our goal here is to get as many points as we can in the time allotted and not die. If we die, the game ends. The full details are listed below, but that's really the basics of it all. Since this is the second run, let's speed up that footage and get this stone a rolling. Beyond that, all you need to know is everything that is gray is stone. Emerald! No, 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 no. Everything that's gray is stone, not emerald. But we just found the Holy Grail there. Emeralds are worth 20 points each. They don't generate very often and only generate in a mountain biome, so that was extremely rare. I played a bunch of these and that doesn't happen very often. And not to be greedy, but let's hope I find more. Emeralds, emeralds, oh, lovely, lovely emeralds. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Everything that is gray is stone. Everything that is white is, well, not stone. It's andesite, diorite, granite. It's wood planks, gravel, deep slate, tough. It's even lava. Thankfully, water is blue, so at least you won't mistake a lava flow for water. Emerald! Jeez, where did he come from? Sneaky little creeper man. And just to demonstrate why emeralds are the holy grail for this challenge, I have 89 points and 40 of them are just from two emeralds. This almost feels like cheating having found those. Almost. In case you're wondering, my only real tactic here is to make sure I break at least a couple of blocks out of each big patch of white. But really, I focus all my attention on the smaller patches. No idea if it's true, but it just seems like the smaller patches would be more likely to be diamonds or iron or gold, and that's what I'm looking for. That last little bit on the stairs there was hiding a patch of lapis. They're only one point each, but each block drops more than one, and so, like redstone, they are great to find. And this is what is tricky about this challenge. If you go back and watch that little section, I had already broken seven blocks around that area just randomly breaking blocks, and on the eighth one, which should have just been a whole lot more of nothing, and I find three blocks of lapis. There's no way to know what ores might be hiding in the big patches, but you can't spend all your time on the big ones either, so it's a whole lot of luck, but all you can really do is just break a few blocks and hope you found whatever was there. Based on all the sounds nearby, there's a party going on next door, and the zombies are having a whole lot of fun. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for them while I keep chasing oars. Go away, bat. This run has actually been relatively light on the mobs, which is only a good thing. 
So long as we don't run into that spider spawner from earlier, we should be okay. Looking at the scoreboard, I can see we're at 169 points and just over halfway through on the clock. Even without the emeralds, this would be a good run so far. But, but now that I've said that out loud, I've probably gone and jinxed myself, haven't I? Or maybe not. Going from 169 to 197 in a matter of seconds definitely puts us on pace to be in the upper 200s. All I have to do now is just stay alive. <sighs> you are a disappointment, Mr. Minecart. Gold! That definitely helps. Those are three points each. And lapis! Well, this is definitely a spot. Coal! Well, I think I just hit the mother load. Wow, um, wow. In that one section of the mine, we just went from 197 points to 279 points. 82 points in what would have been 45 seconds of real time. I've had runs where I didn't even hit that many points by halftime. That is an absurd amount of points. And I like it. Looks like we may be running out of options on where to mine, but with this run, I have no complaints. Hello. I think I found something to complain about. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Go run, 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 you stupid. Run, 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 run. While I wonder how I could have possibly gotten away, might as well mine some more. You know, it just occurred to me what that puff of smoke on the ground was earlier. That was a silverfish. Let alone the cave spiders, I have no idea how we've been mining in a mountain biome this long and not have a single silverfish attack us. This has been a truly lucky run. We're getting close to the end, so might as well pick up as many ores as I can. Apparently, we found yet another seam of endless ores. This seam just doesn't want to end. Oh, and the clock says Finn, so the game is over. Um, Gregor, the game is over. It's time to stop mining now, buddy. There you go. Okay, let's review the footage. I've got one more block to go. And the clock says Finn. There it is. And our score was 369. Not too shabby. Okay, we've turned the colorless caving resource pack off and gone into... Oh my god! I missed emeralds right at the top of the seam. See, no matter how good the run is, there's always something to complain about. Okay, let's do this. Well, there's some coal, and there's some iron, more coal. <sighs> and up here, we... Looks like we did pretty good in this hallway. Not seeing anything I missed here. Go over here. There's some coal. Uh, well, there's the spider spawner. I wasn't going to do anything with that. And then over here... More coal. There's that coal I saw from below. And... Let's go down this way. There's coal and gold. I just... just gold. Yeah. Okay, I'm done torturing myself. So there you have it. We found 58 iron, 3 emeralds, 54 lapis, 8 gold, and 119 coal. Even without the emeralds, an amazing run. I hope you enjoyed the video and it was definitely a fun challenge. Many thanks to Ed for coming up with the resource and data packs. Sadly though, this will probably be my last Minecraft Challenges video for quite a while, but I do hope to have more in the future at some point. Maybe not on some schedule, but here and there as ideas for new challenges occur to me. One thing I do know for sure, there will definitely be a Dig Straight Down challenge once 1.18 is released. Until then, always remember, whatever you're doing, try and have fun. See ya.